hello guys welcome back to my channel and <laughs> here i am again with art vi with an art video i know after i don't know how many videos of genshin i've been so far <laughs> i'm finally bringing my art back so this is basically like a year-long project because i did this throughout this year so for each month i did a witch and the witch was related to that month obviously so here I'm starting of course with January which and uh, this is a speed paint on Procreate by the way but I did this while I was doing a Twitch uh, live stream I had some people in so I was just writing because I didn't have the best condition of my mic so I just had music and people were talking um, also I did some questions on Instagram about like weapons and other stuff so that helped me also to build her character and yeah that was it just for january so my idea to do january was basically new beginnings new start a lot of fireworks and i want to do something more festive uh, like new year's because it's basically when it starts january so that was my ideas and i decided to go with it and the sketch actually went pretty good uh, normally i do some sketches on my sketchbook and then i do it digitally but this time i did everything digitally um so i wanted to kind of study uh, what can i do for colors uh, for lightning and that was not actually very hard for me i had like a clear idea also i had some help and did actually really enjoyed my first piece of the witches uh, you s will see forward that i start to hating all my witches and my style just completely changed which was good i needed a change so here i'm doing just a mask because i'll do everything uh, lineless uh, so i did a mask and then i would apply the colors uh, then i'll apply the also shadow and seeing the light that's like basically my process uh, when i do the things Here you can see the drawing is starting to get some shape with some colors. Now it's time to like add the details. As you can see, I'm pointing the light, also putting some stars on the dress because there was something missing and I wanted something like more festive. And yeah, it's just getting depth and detail to the drawing. And yeah, <laughs> that's me just thanking everybody coming to the stream. I don't think I finished the drawing in the stream I finished after but it was actually a very good time this was my fun part the fireworks so that was something i actually didn't know how i was going to do and i discovered this kind of funny looking i don't know if i i think i saw some references but still i wasn't like sure of it and how to use them but they turn out to be very cool and i even used them in some other illustration i don't remember which one uh but yeah i think they came out very nice and they did the purpose they were <laughs> um and yeah that's it basically So that's the finished look. I loved it, honestly. One of my favorites. Um, now for February. Oh god. I don't hate this one. I don't also love it. <laughs> I really wanted to do uh, the idea of like, you know, February, love, you know, Cupid's Day, Love's Day. So I wanted to do kind of a Cupid, but kind of like, I don't know. I really liked the idea. 
I, it also sketched digitally actually um, but yeah I don't hate it I think it's a cool idea I think I should have like got some parts better I think I should redraw <laughs> in far in the future to see how I actually improved but um, I don't think the idea is bad I don't think I think the pose could have been better uh, I just don't I don't hate it I like it but I don't love it I think I could have you know tweak a bit more uh, I like the color that I used um, I had a really hard time with hands but hey hands are not my <laughs> expertise here you can see me drawing like drawing the the pose 100 times I really like the pose of the reference I wanted to do something like that but yeah um, you know you try and you try sometimes you do it sometimes you don't I was just really focused on the pose and on that um, kind of a pose but yeah Here you can see me like refining the sketch, um, putting the details like how I want it. Actually, I had like some idea of the outfit. I think the outfit is it's such a cute idea actually. <laughs> but yeah, uh, for the colors, and once again, uh, I knew what I actually wanted. Sometimes I go on Pinterest and try to find some color palettes to help me like having the color more cohesive. So yeah, here again, I'm masking everything. I actually love the braids as hearts because it's just cute. Um, I love the the love arrow and I just like the design. I think it just could have been a bit more. I don't know, but I don't like I said, I don't hate it. I think it's actually pretty nice. And actually seeing like the process I really like her face I think it's like super cute the little details of the signal with heart um, and giving some shadow some depth um, yeah I think it's looking really cool I like that I put some blue eyeshadow to like give a little bit of contrast to all the warm colors because it's all pinks and I wanted something like you know to focus on her heart heart no <laughs> to focus on her eyes and not on the hand now the real thing comes out which is the background i didn't want it to be like full white so i wanted maybe she would be some clouds but like i didn't like it it seemed like a little bit uh, weird i tried too many times doing the clouds but then i ended up not liking it and i just decided you know what full pink Full big background will work just fine. Um, should have been just a bit more contrasting, but it's fine. So here's the end result. <clears throat> I think it looks amazing. So for March, here we go again. So I did this time my sketch as per usual on my sketchbook. I didn't have many ideas for the colors I kind of had, but I searched on Pinterest as usual some color palettes that i knew that i wanted a bit more and yeah 
I actually also love this witch. Um, I knew she needed to be uh, with uh, orange hair and I wanted some flowers. I didn't have much idea, but for me, March is kind of a month of flowers. Um, the weather is getting warmer. We're having best weather flowers kind of thing. So a witchy flower kind of a vibe, I guess I went for a very like earthy not earthy <laughs> normally i use more vibrant colors than normal but yeah i like this drawing i think it's actually one of my favorites too and this was way more fast but i'm not adding the details i love her face quite happy with this one also so So you can see she's now getting uh, all almost finished. Actually, I said I didn't want anything like with no background, but I think she ended up with no background at all. Uh, I just decided, you know, she just needs a little bit of grass just to complete or having something instead of being just on a blank canvas. I decided to add some flowers also since she's like a florist, not florist, kind of flower witch. So. It was like important to put that in there and I think it ended up quite nice. It almost looks like a sticker. So here's the final look of the witch of March. So for April, I think it's one of my hated uh, witches. <laughs> I like, I really don't like it. Uh, for me, I would even take her out of this video, but I wanted to show the progress. I was struggling so much with my art and I was just pushing through. I don't know what happened. I actually love the pose. I mean, I don't love the pose. I love the idea of the pose. But um, I was struggling with a hand, with the pose, with the umbrella. I just don't know. And uh, since I wanted that hand very, very hard, as you can see, I took a reference because I didn't know how to draw the hand, for the love of God. So my problem was I should have switched more and more and changed the face because I don't know, it ended up kind of weird. I'm saying for me at least. Um, I had the idea of doing an, um, like very rainy day, a raincoat for her. I imagine something like kind of cute, but it ended up kind of disastrous. I'm saying for me at least, I really don't. For me, it's an old, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Um, I think she had like the, I don't know, maybe I could have changed the things I was liking when I did it, but then at the final I didn't really enjoy it. I don't like the face, I don't like the body, I don't like the pose, I don't, the colors I like, at least that I know, as you can see I'm always trying to look for color palettes with colors in specific in mind because I know which colors I want to use, sometimes I just don't know which other colors combine the best I don't know but uh, here I was just struggling and mind me not Uh, as you can see here, like the colors are all blocked. Um, just doing the face details. I really 
the only thing i think i like the most is to like the rain hitting on the umbrella because that's another thing like what will i do for background because i know i want to do the character but i never know what i will do for background i mean it's a lot of work just to draw a character itself than drawing the background i think that was also something i did that i didn't like it's like i know i used something i thought it would look good I just didn't like it, but still continue with it. Um, I don't like the background. I don't think it helps <laughs> the situation. Uh, but either way, I think this is like a experience for me <laughs> for later. Uh, I mean, you have your days, but I mean, she's not that terrible. I mean, I just, she's not my favorite at all. I'm not proud, <laughs> but either way, <laughs> it's a drawing and I did it. So that's the record of it. So yeah, so for April, rainy day, rainy sky, very dark sky, I don't know, uh, it just seems everything kind of off, maybe I should have changed, I don't know, but well, it is what it is, and I mean, she's not that bad, I love the rain, and here's the final look. It's May time, so I was still struggling with my art. Because this year has been quite a lot for me in terms of art, I don't know what happened. Uh, but I did this quite cute sketch. Um, I liked it very much, the sketch. Uh, I don't hate it, the final version, of course. Um, I actually like it, but uh, I don't know, maybe it was my style that I was using. Because I like the colors, the, scol the colors, I was the one I chose, didn't went for inspiration. Um, I don't know, I was just having like an identity crisis as per usual, my art was just like not it, but I kind of like this one, it's not that bad, uh, it's such a cute idea. Of May also, I think about flowers, uh, starting the, the, um, the spring, springtime, so yeah, I was just getting that, you know, good weather time good weather time, flowers, all that. So here I'm adding, as you can see, the details, the shadowing, some little lines here and there, trying, experimenting. Yeah, I was experimenting with some stuff here already. Um, I didn't want the background in black, so I changed it. And still trying stuff out, light here. And here we have the final piece. I hope you guys enjoy it. I like it. So now we are in June, well, <laughs> it really goes fast, huh? so I had this really cute idea because I love drawing huge suns and for me that is what represents June, just a sunny, bright full month where you can enjoy the good weather finally. As you can see, I really really like the summer especially. So I wanted to represent with a huge sun. Um, I really enjoyed this one. Um, I'm still like experimenting, I think, with colors um, more than usual, doing a mask, then painting everything in their places, doing the details after, shading, light, and that's it, basically. So this was kind of a simple one, but I I liked it. Oh, I hear I was trying with lightning. With light. Why am I saying lighting? Um, yeah, because I wanted to try also to give some depth to the face, not just to look flat. Here, just like the other details, some glow on the sun. And I think it's basically done. Yeah, it's the finish piece, which I really like. So, we're going to July. Did I do this on a live stream? I actually, yeah, I think I did, yeah. So this is when things start to turn a bit. So I was, was trying, I, I remember I was experimenting in the piece, like with an orange soil. So I decided to try on this piece of the witches. I didn't know if it was going to look cool or good, 
so yeah um for july as per usual uh summertime vacation so i really wanted to draw a witch on a floater just enjoying herself her time and her everything so i had the idea of the pose struggling with the hands and arms as per usual but i managed to do it till the end and i think i really really like i started to really really like doing these illustrations and having ideas uh, i didn't start i think i did start on my sketchbook but i decided to start from the beginning on procreate to just get the hang of the pose and see if everything is how i like So you can see I did some adjustments to the pose, to the proportions, because sometimes that misses, but that's okay, you can fix everything. And then I decided to just paint straight on it, like not doing a mask, leaving the sketch in there, just painting in front of the sketch. I also had an idea for colors. I think I did almost my, almost every witch has like a black hat. I mean, a couple of them don't have, but usually most of them have. Um, yeah, I wanted to try also with like new colors of hair, uh, but in general, I really like the color theme. I think I just could have done better the background. <laughs> I think that's something I could work on. Uh, maybe that I will do in a video, trying backgrounds. That's gonna be very hard for me, I think. But here we can see like I'm putting the details like experimenting giving another color to the line art uh, see how it stays maybe I think I put the layer and multiply it gives just another look to the illustration I don't know it feels like sketchy but not really kind of the same moment but yeah so also I when it add the, the water I think it was like fundamental to put it because like you want a floater and you need water you know it's kind of cute idea I think as you can see I really like this one I was like getting like you know oh I changed my art style I'm kind of look, liking how this is starting to look so I'm kind of proud also like putting more shadows because I felt like I didn't do that much and getting more depth more detail more rending to the face and to the everything on the illustration so my computer started to make a little bit of noise but hey so I'm adding the finished finishing touches and I think yeah I also love this one I'm not gonna lie yeah I'm trying here to complete yeah as you can see I was in the stream for sure yeah, and here's the final look I'm very proud I mean now it is <laughs> I'm very proud of this one and here we are August and again summer edition time because also hot weather vacation time vibes i had like a picture that i had like idea and reference stuff i don't know where it is couldn't find it but it was on pinterest <laughs> um yeah i just wanted to do you know her resting having a good time here i'm struggling with hands and i had a brilliant idea to use a large brush to help me figure out the fingers because i couldn't uh, and i couldn't find a reference so but yeah she was just just lying just you know sitting there taking her drink with her head on the side because she's resting with her hair outside picking picked and everything i enjoyed the good weather because you know actually i was really proud of this background i think it was because i had the reference on it so i could you know <laughs> you know do it i think i should use more of the reference i mean i do know but i don't use it's just for laziness i think oh if you can see me uh, turning the colors in black i mean i'm just seeing the gray scale if the colors look good because i'm trying to figure out the color also here i struggle a bit with the face but it was just normal because i wanted things to look well placed and at first i decided oh i should clean the sketch but or by cleaning meaning like redoing the line art 
but I decided no I just clean it a bit and looking a bit rough but uh, I think they end up really really cool this is actually one of my favorites as well I really enjoyed the, this one it was like so so summer time vibes so me at the same time so she's just there and <laughs> drinking having a good time enjoying herself um, the colors I end up choosing worked up really nice this time I didn't use any palette I was just like following my intuition and I think it worked quite, quite well so I'm happy with that actually uh, I struggled with the chair but I think she looks fine so you didn't didn't see anything <laughs> so I'm here seeing also uh, I changed the color of the lines and you will see uh, that I kind of play with that uh, in other drawings because I don't use just purple or just I mean just red because in these two I just use red fine art but yeah here putting the details and everything uh, just painting and having also consideration of the light so uh, as you can see And now I'm putting the more details into it. Oh, here's me like fixing the mouth because I noticed it was like in the wrong place. And here is like, you know, she needs a bit more of a shadow because she has an umbrella and she cannot be just all lightened. So this is like, I don't know, I, maybe it was that. I was just like putting the shadows in the light and it worked so good. I was like, I don't know, I just liked it how it turn out and yeah as you can see putting the light fixing everything trying to see if like everything it's correct uh, the shadows and also and here you can see I changed the line color which I think looks way way better because it just fits also the vibe and everything it's looking quite good and I think I'm almost finishing putting some light here and yeah as you can see Here's the final piece. I'm in love with it. And September. Uh, was I doing a live stream also? Probably. Wow, I did a lot, quite a few live streams of art back then. Um, yeah, so I didn't have quite a idea of September. It's like a month I don't really like because it's starting to get cold. So that's not a good, good sign for me. <laughs> Also, I thought, you know, school time, right? Everybody goes back to school in September. And I was like, how about she's going to school and it's kind of cold. I just wanted to draw a very puffy jacket. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I used the same technique because I find that works for me. I added some ideas. I don't think I had, I mean, I changed the wand, I think. Yeah, so this time I actually did like all over the line art just not to look clean but like my sketches are a mess so I didn't want that to you know still doing the line art some mistakes in here and there so it doesn't look just too 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 perfect so here I start with the colors yeah as you can see uh, I was just pushing through the colors I knew I wanted the purple in there for some reason so it was just like you know I have to put some color and I end up with the purple bag and the blue jacket and the hair I think it's like a maroon maroon <laughs> uh, brown purplish kind of red color but yeah I really liked um, this drawing uh, it's not my favorite also I don't know maybe it's just because it gives me the cold vibes um, of going to school <laughs> but I still love it I think it's great still uh, but yeah uh, it was a cool idea and I want that bag actually for me I would love to have that bag I don't know you can see but like I have like stars some planets and a uh, and everything in there so you can put in the details also the lightning uh, here I go with lightning I mean with light uh, giving a little bit of my shadow more depth to the drawing as per usual and I don't know why I wanted to do like her looking back, but she's clearly not in a good mood to go to school. 
<laughs> again <laughs> so i thought it was a cool idea to have the wand being like you know she just threw her wand in last minute because she forgot uh but yeah she's not really <laughs> in a good mood to go to school and i think i'm like giving what final touches and i think it's almost finished for now yeah here's the final result i really like it also and we are starting to get down to the last month so for october i really like tokyo i really like october okay i know it's in the cold weather but i like october it gives me like very witchy vibes you know <laughs> so for that reason i had to do a typical witch on her broom <laughs> um i really love this drawing let me say just that um i don't know i was just sketching around in my sketchbook having a good time and i was like oh i kind of like the pose I like the idea because like i started to you know put some key ideas of what i wanted to do then here i'm just you know clean the sketch because i need to make sure everything is on the correct uh way even though like the hands are not perfect here i knew the colors also but i still was like you know i need some help with the color palette still um yeah i really wanted to use the halloween colors of course like purple and and orange two of my favorite colors <laughs> together and yeah and i was like she needs to be flying on the dark night dark not dark but night with some stars very witchy having a pumpkin because pumpkin season you know i just decided to give her a little guide because i think she was headed somewhere at least was my idea she's like going somewhere she's bringing her bag with her she's just taking a very uh flight might say to the night going somewhere and yeah here's the basically the final, final piece i really love it i'm i love it and we're going to november <laughs> so i did quite some sketches on this one um i thought like you know november my month because i do my birthday it's on november <laughs> i was just like you know november is such a cozy vibe time to get to stay at home just too cold to be outside um cozy times reading something drinking some tea or some coffee or something yeah uh, so i decided to do kind of full background which i was like oh god here we go again i didn't want to over complicate it but yeah eh, i mean it ended quite good some colors i like and everything so very moody so that was the big idea and i think i managed to do that also here in portugal it's like the month of uh, chestnuts chestnuts so we have the san martinho which is basically it's all about the chestnuts basically we like to put them in the oven and when they come out eat them it's amazing um uh, i love that so i had to add that as well oh and if you can get like a little uh what is it um easter egg i'm sorry i was thinking really hard <laughs> easter egg because the book has something very special to me and to my friends which is our project and comic we still have to finish which is um how to witch which is basically a comic about witches um they're just trying to get better at being witches which they are not at the moment <laughs> But it's a very funny comic, you can find it on webtoons, I also can link it down below. It's also on tapas, oh, and here I was like, you know, I'm not gonna draw what's after the windows, I just, you know, picture on it, <laughs> oh good. But yeah, that book, I was like, you know, she's gonna read something very important, how to, to which, because I, I think it, it fits, it fits, basically. And yeah, so that was a little easter egg that i love and i like to do that on my illustrations putting something that it's related to other stuff that i'm doing and how to which is a very important project to me so i needed to you know 
you're reading a book, you better be reading a comic about witches being better. <laughs> so yeah, and here I can see I'm just doing details, choosing the colors, and I hope that was something also that I was struggling because I was like, I don't want the drawing to look too much blue. I wanted to have some like kind of a life. Uh, so I did a bit of more light, more orange tones because it, it has a lot of blues and a lot of purples so I need something to balance also and I think it's almost finishing yeah this. here's the final look hey I like it I really like it and December time <coughs> so uh, for the last switch I didn't really know what to do I was like you know it's Christmas time last year actually last year no a couple of years ago I did a December witch as well and you know, she ended up being quite, quite cute. Uh, I don't know, I was just sketching around, I was like, maybe she's coming out of the of a present, maybe she's bringing boxes, and all of a sudden I was like, you know, she's posing, she's having a, her life a moment with boxes, with presents, and she's, you know, serving, <laughs> basically. Um, I don't know, I just was like crazy squats I did that I liked. Um, I sketched over the sketch of my sketchbook. Well, that was a tongue twister. And I refined the sketch and did the normal thing as per usual, just cleaning everything, making sure everything is like correct, at least it looks correct, the idea is there. I think the only thing I could I don't know, I just I am picking too much on her face I, I face, I think I could have something like I don't know adjust the face I don't know maybe it just is me having my thing at the moment so yeah here I'm planning also putting everything yeah I went on on color palettes again I knew the colors I wanted to use but I wanted to make sure they would work together I also did some adjustments um, the line art I, it didn't end, end up on being black because I didn't want it that but I wanted to see what I was painting and yeah so I knew main color would be red because you know red and yellow uh, the boxes I wanted to do like mix and match of colors uh, because it's the colors of Christmas so I just wanted to use that for sure so now I'm just putting the shadows um, and details also because it's important also to see the volumes um, also I was like what am I gonna do for background but I didn't I didn't was like I was like you know I would do something <laughs> uh, I knew I want her like little things out of the head to be you know shining a lot bringing a lot of light because that will remember also a Christmas tree <laughs> and I just wanted to do that <laughs> uh, I didn't really like the composition, the lightning, the color, and here I go saying lightning again. Um, yeah, I think it looks really cool. I'm proud of it. And here's the final piece. So I can say that I'm very proud of the progress. I'm showing all the illustrations also. Um, yeah, I'm proud of my process. I'm proud that I've changed. I can see my progress along the months and it was a cute project to do so I'm proud of it and yeah so let me know which one of your which is is your favorite and if you liked also I did talk for a long time <laughs> it's a quite a long video I didn't expect that but it's cute to see all the progress and how I changed my art and I changed everything and yeah, here I am. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye.